Chelsea 2, Sheffield United 2 is how it finishes once again. US international Christian Pulisic given the start by Frank Lampard and of course involved in one of Tammy, Tammy Abraham's goals. Yeah, he, he got himself in front of Henderson for the first goal. Um, listen, he, he worked hard, he was industrious. Um, I don't think technically he was at his best today. Uh, he lost the ball a lot and gave it away. Uh, but you know what? With more games, with more time, he'll become more consistent. Uh, just unfortunately, in this game, he yeah. wasn't the only one in the Chelsea jersey that was inconsistent. It, it is a baptism of fire for him. He's very much thrown in yeah. with the Lions. But that that would be would what you would want, isn't it, as a player? Well, you want to play. Uh, the ideal si situation is you're going into a side that's that's experienced, that's settled, that knows what it's all about, which will make it easier for a younger player to to just to get going. Now, when you're thrown in amongst another bunch of young players, yeah, it's always easy when things are going well, and it's all it's always about the you know the the, the youth element and the freedom and the spirit of youth. But the problem is when things go wrong on the field that experience to handle it isn't there. And that's exactly what happened today against Sheffield United. Cliche game of two halves, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And as I just said, you know, when, when things go badly, you need, you need a calmness and you need a kind of t collective belief that, you know, we'll, we'll get through whatever it is we're going through. Yeah. Chelsea don't have that. They've got too many young players. Listen, it's great to see young players getting a chance, but when when you're at home and you're in a stadium where the crowd are beginning to get a little itchy... You could feel it, couldn't you? Well, Co absolutely. Completely in that second half. Absolutely. And so when, when Kovacic come off and Billy Gilmore, an 18-year-old, came on, of course the crowd were pleased that it's another kid, but are you going to really think that an 18-year-old is going to add a calmness right. and keep the ball? And, and so I hope Kovacic was injured because if he wasn't injured, what is Frank Lampard doing? Well, apparently he said he was tired. Lampard came out and said he was tired. Do you know what? I don't care. You, you, need, you, you need to chop my legs off right. to get me off the field, not because I'm tired. And Frank has to ask somebody like him to go through it. Right. Because they needed his experience. He's one of the most experienced players that they have on that field right now. So he needs to be the one that goes around with the young players and calms them down and, and helps them through the tough times. Not, not take your experienced guy off and throw a kid on and expect a kid to do a man's job. I mean, so I, I would definitely question Frank taking off Kovacic, tired or not. How can a manager with so much experience playing at this level make what seems like quite an obvious mistake? Uh, we spoke about Frank getting the job, saying that he would lack, ex he obviously lacks experience as a manager. Right. When you're sat on the side of the field, the game's completely different. You, you're figuring out 11 players, what can I do to help them? What can I do to help my team? You've got a crowd either being for blood or patting you in the back. So there are so many things that you try to think about that I'm sure in his head he thought, you know what, this little bit of, this little bit of youth will give us a, a breath of fresh air and get us back in control. Really? That well. Well, it has to be, because it certainly wasn't, well, let's put young Billy on, right. because he's cool and calm, and, and he'll get us back into this game that, that seemed to be slipping. Is this what we're going to see from Chelsea now throughout the season, do you think? I believe so. They yeah. can't add players, uh, and so they have what they have. Um, you know, the biggest thing for me is, not that they don't have talent, it's, it's a belief and a, a togetherness, because they don't look together. Mm. Yes, everybody's got a great attitude. Everybody's given 100%, but there's just not that there's just not that togetherness in the group that when it goes wrong, they all come together. It doesn't seem like that. Steve Nichol, thank you very much. A lot more from Stevie throughout the weekend. Of course, still some big matches to come in the Premier League. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.